Do you wanna have more control over your mic and game audio in your recordings? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can separate your microphone and your game audio inside Streamlabs, so that way you have way more control over your audio. If that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video. And look at this cute little cat I got. It's got a little bell. Look at that. Neat. The very first thing that we gotta do is obviously open up Streamlabs, duh, it's in the freaking title. And if you're wondering where I got this cool webcam overlay, it's actually included in my streamer starter pack, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. But in order to separate our game and mic audio, we first need to go to the bottom left corner and click on the Streamlabs settings. And then we're gonna go to the audio tab. Now here, we're going to choose our desktop audio device, which in this case, for me, it's gonna be my Yamaha ZG01 speakers because that's where all of my audio is coming from because it's my computer speakers that I'm listening to right now and if you're not sure where your correct settings would be if you're on windows simply go to the bottom and right click this little speaker icon and go to sound settings and then you'll be able to see what your main output is so right now speakers yamaha zg01 is for me but if you're going through a different output then you'll want to choose whatever that one is in streamlabs and if you're using a mac or chromebook honestly i'm not sure because i only have windows but reddit is going to be your best friend if you run into any issues so for my desktop audio device i know i'm going for this one and then for our microphone i'm going to pick my favorite microphone that i'm using right now which is the rode pod mic usb i'll leave that linked in the description down below or I'll leave it linked on the video whichever you prefer so now we got our game audio and now we have our mic audio so now what we need to do is confirm that in the bottom right corner you can see we have our speakers and our desktop microphone so I'm gonna hit done just in case it didn't populate for you after you hit done it should populate like this I got my game audio getting picked up in hollow Knight on the top bar and then whenever I'm talking the microphone bar is going up and down so we know that's good to go so far so let's go back to the bottom left corner Streamlabs. we're gonna click that little cog wheel and now we're gonna go over to the output tab now if yours doesn't look like mine simply click the output mode at the top and change that to advanced and we're going to go to the recording tab now here i'm just going to choose a standard type you're going to choose wherever you want your recordings to be saved to i just have it on my ssd which is just a different hard drive so that way it doesn't clutter up my main hard drive so you can click that browse button and put it wherever you think is going to be best for you then i'm going to choose to record an mp4 but the most important part here is the audio tracks so as you can see here i'm recording on two audio tracks i have audio track two and three which means when i'm doing my recordings in streamlabs it's going to be split into two audio tracks so now that we have two audio tracks selected now we have to tell Streamlabs what to put on those audio tracks, AKA our mic and our game audio. So I'm gonna use audio tracks two and three. And also you can ignore the fact that I'm recording on X264. That's just because I'm recording this video for YouTube. And if I record on both softwares, my computer explodes. So just ignore that. But if you're wondering what the best recording settings are gonna be for your computer, I have a separate video on that in the top right corner. So check that out later. But the important part is separating our two tracks here. So I'm gonna do tracks two and three. And then we're gonna go to the audio tab at the very top right here. Click on that, change all of these to 320 bit rate to give us the best audio quality and then we are going to be good for that section so now we're going to hit done take a deep breath in and out it's not that hard so we're good we're good so far so now what we need to do is go over to the mixer over here in the bottom right it happens to be for me we're going to click on this little cog wheel that says open advanced audio settings so click on that and now you'll notice that we have a bunch of stuff that just popped up here. So let me move it over for us. As you can see, we are recording on tracks two and three because that's what we told Streamlabs we wanted to record on. So for this instance, we want to take off our speakers on track two or three, doesn't really matter. So for this instance, I'm going to record, let's say my game and everything else audio on track two. So I'm gonna take it off of track three. Now I'm gonna do the same for everything else because I just wanna record my microphone on track three. So then we're gonna do the vice versa. So now we're going to take the microphone off of track two, and now I'm gonna take everything else that I don't want on my track. But to keep things very simple, I'm just gonna record our game audio on track two, and then just our microphone on track three and nothing else. So that way they're clean tracks and we can record them and we can edit them in post after we're done. So once we've done that, we're gonna simply hit the X button and now what we're going to do is do a simple recording. So I'm going to hit the record button. It's going to turn red. It's going to start recording. You can see that the recording has started here. I'm going to wave my arms like an idiot. As you can see, the game audio is getting picked up through our speakers up here. And then when I'm talking, you can see the desktop microphone is getting picked up here. So now I'm going to end the recording. So we're going to click stop recording. 
And now we're gonna go to that folder. So in the settings, we're gonna go to output recording. We're gonna go to this recording path right here to go and grab our video file. So here's my video file right here, 16 seconds, nice short and sweet like other parts of me. So we're gonna double click and preview this. But one thing to note is that when you're previewing this, and using like Windows Media Player or any other kind of like video previewing software or whatever, I guess you wanna say a program, majority of the time, you're not gonna be able to hear all of the audio. So you might just hear the game audio or you might just hear your mic audio. So if you're previewing it, you're like, Cody, what the heck? I can only hear one. That's just the default because usually these video players will only read one audio track at a time. So usually you'll choose the first one, I believe, which will either be in this case, the game audio or your microphone. So in order to basically combine that, we need to use a video editing software like DaVinci Resolve because it's free and it'll give you a much better idea of what's actually going on. So don't freak out if you don't hear all of your audio in the video preview here. I'm going to show you exactly what's up. So don't freak out, but this is the software that I use to edit all my YouTube videos. It's called DaVinci Resolve. It's completely free. I bought the studio version because I want to support them and it comes with more features, but the free version is totally fine and you're going to be able to do everything that I'm doing in this video for free. So just make sure you're downloading the DaVinci Resolve, the regular one and not the studio because the studio is paid. But once you open up DaVinci Resolve, we're going to go to the edit tab at the bottom so that way we can import our file. So now we're going to go and find that video file. I'm simply just going to click and drag it into our timeline here at the bottom. So just drop it and it's going to yell at us because normally DaVinci records or the project frame rate is at like 30 FPS, but re-recorded in 60 frames per second. So I'm just going to hit change and it's going to change the project in DaVinci to 60 frames per second so we can properly edit our little video file here. So I'm going to hold alt and I'm going to use the mouse wheel and I'm going to put my mouse right over here to zoom in. And I'm going to drag this down here to make it larger and drag this one to make it larger here too. So I know this top one is the game audio so if you want you can click over here and just type in game audio and then for this one you can click here and just type in mic audio so that way you know what's going on so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to play this video so i'm going to hit the put the little cursor drag it all the way to the left and then hit the space bar to play it and now if you want you can hit the mute track and that way you can hear it's just the game audio going so if you want, you can mute the game audio and unmute the mic. And, then when I'm talking, and now you can just hear me talking. So this way you're able to go so and control your different audio screen. levels and be able to make, you know, let's say things quieter, things softer. And you can simply just click on this file here and you can adjust the volume in the top right by making it to the right. It'll make it louder and to the left, it'll make it quieter. And then go to the same thing for your microphone audio here. Same thing. You can get more advanced with this and do different editing things, but the, literally YouTube has so many, like hundreds of thousands of tutorials on how to use DaVinci Resolve. So feel free to watch as many tutorials there. Or if you want a video by me showing you how I do my editing, just comment down below that you want a DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial by me, because I'll do it for you guys if you want. But let's say you make all of your edits to your audio here and you want to then export it into a file that you can upload it to YouTube to combine both of these tracks so it plays in a, like a regular video in all video players. Well, that's easy. So once you've done your edits here, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the deliver tab in the bottom right corner here. So click on that. And then if we give it a second to load, we're gonna go to the top left here. You can drag this little thing here and just do YouTube 1080p. Click on that. It's an easy preset. You just type in your file name and then you're gonna click on browse to the place that you want to basically export it to. So whatever folder you want. So let's just click browse. Let's just say we want our downloads folder, hit save. I'm gonna change this to test video. And then 1080p, perfect, frame rate 60, MP4, everything's perfect, that looks good. Then we're gonna simply add it to, Jesus, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna add it to the render queue, click that little button. I'm gonna hide my webcam real quick because it's conveniently located behind it. And then we're going to hit render all. So now it's going to render our video right here into one nice convenient little file, little video file that we can upload to YouTube. So let's go back to our downloads folder where we have that. So go to downloads, right here, test video. We're gonna double click it. And when you listen to it, you're gonna hear all of the audio because it's combined back into one audio track now that we've made our edit. So let's preview this after I unmute it. You can see that the recording has started here. I'm gonna wave my arms like an idiot. As you can see, the game audio is getting- And as you can tell, both of the audios are included in this, which you can upload to YouTube or whatever you friggin' want. Now, obviously the game audio is a little loud, so you'd wanna turn that down and go back and vice versa, but this is just to show you guys how to do it. But if you really care about taking your audio to the next level, you need to watch this video to the side of me. It shows you how to split your audio even more effectively, so that way you can have even more control over your recordings and streams. So watch that video. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.